Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. One of my subscribers asked me how you could find the equation of a parabola uh, without giving um, the x-intercepts or the turning point. In this case, I'm not going to give you any intercepts. Okay, so just a few points on the parabola. How do we get the equation of it? So, um, I guess the first thing you could do is draw a little sketch, but I'm not even going to bother with that. So, we know that the general equation of a parabola is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So, all you have to do is find out what a, b, and c are, and you have your equation of the parabola. So for example, it could be y equals 4x squared plus 3x plus 2, right? But I just made that up, so that's not the answer, but it could be something like that. So what we're looking for is what a is, what b is, and what c is. Now we have no idea what these things are, obviously, but what we do know is that when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 7, right, from the question, right, the question gives us this table. So I'm going to now substitute that into my equation, so I'm going to end up with a new equation, I'm going to end up with 7 equals, A, we don't know what it is, but x squared, when x is negative 2, so I'm going to square negative 2, plus b, we have no idea what it is, but we know x is equal to negative 2, plus c. So that gives us 7 equals, right, because we've substituted y equals 7 into the formula, so 7 equals a times negative x squared plus b times negative 2 plus c. So if I Simplify that a bit more. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4a minus 2b plus c. Okay, I'm now going to repeat the same process with x is negative 1, y is 4. So 4 equals a times negative 1 squared. Right, substituting negative 1 into this equation for x and y for 4, so b times negative 1 plus c, and then if I simplify that by getting rid of the brackets, I have 4 equals a, because negative 1 squared is just 1, so a minus b plus c, and I'm now going to do the third one, when x is 1, y is equal to 10, so putting that in, um, y is equal to 10 equals 10 equals uh, oops hang on a second so 10 equals a times 1 right because x is right now 1 when x is 1 y is 10 so x is 1 so a times 1 squared is just a times 1 plus b times 1 plus c, so 10 equals a plus b plus c. So we have three equations, I'm going to label them as equation 1, which is this one, um, equation 2, which is this one, and equation 3, which is this one. Okay, three different equations that came from just substituting the values from this table into my equation. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is try and solve these equations uh, by, I guess, elimination. So I'm going to, if you're not familiar with elimination, basically what you're doing is you're, actually let me write down the technique so you can look it up in my videos. So the technique is called solve simultaneous equations using elimination. And I'm going to do that for equation 3 and 2. And the technique that I'm going to do is I'm going to do equation 
3 minus equation 2. And you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. But basically, all, all you have to do is get the left-hand side of equation 3 and minus the left-hand side of equation 2. So it's left-hand side minus left-hand side. So 10 minus 4 is equal to the right-hand side minus the right-hand side. Right, left-hand side minus left-hand side, right-hand side minus right-hand side. And doing that, um, you, you're allowed to do that because it keeps the equation balanced. Okay, whatever is on the left still equals what is on the right because you're, sub you're subtracting by the same amount. So 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. A minus A is gone. B minus negative B becomes B plus B, right, which is 2B. And C plus C is 2, uh, sorry, C minus C is gone as well. So now I have 6 equals 2B, right, because when you do equation 3 minus equation 2, 10 minus 4, actually let me just write all of that out so you're not confused. 10 minus 4 equals A plus B plus C minus A minus B plus C. So that becomes 10 minus 4 equals A plus B plus C minus A plus B minus C. So A minus A is gone. C minus C is gone, so B plus B is 2B equals 6. Alright, so now 6 divided by 2 equals B, so we found what B is. Found what B is by doing elimination. Alright, so now we can replace B with 3. B is equal to 3 in all these equations. Okay, so what do I have? I'm going to rewrite equation 1. Actually, let me just scroll down to the right-hand side. So equation 1 is now, let me use a different color, 7 equals 4a minus 2 times 3 plus c. So that's 7 equals 4a minus 6 plus c. What's this little thing doing there? Okay, so that's my new equation 1. Um, basically, after substituting what I have found for b, which is equal to 3, actually, I can write that here now. So b is now equal to 3. We're just looking for a and c. Okay, so equation, um, let's just do equation 3, all right? So 10 is equal to A plus 3 plus C, so that's equation 3. Okay, so how do we, how do, we do this? Well, let's, um, let's do equation 3 minus equation 1 now. Uh, or equation 1 minus equation 3, it doesn't really matter. So let's try it. So let's do equation 1 minus 3. Alright, so I have 7 minus 10 on the left, so that becomes uh, <clears throat> negative 3 equals alright, 4a minus a is 3a negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9 and C minus C is gone. So negative 3 equals 3A minus 9 so rearranging this equation 3A equals negative 3 plus 9 so that becomes 3A equals 3, 9 minus 3 is 6 so A is now 2 a is 2. And now all you have to do is substitute in A is 2 
into equation three. So let me just draw a line down here so you don't get confused. So sub a equals two, oops, into equation three. So equation three says 10 equals a plus three plus c. 10 equals a plus 3 plus c. 10 equals 2 plus 3 plus c. 10 equals 5 plus c. c equals 10 minus 5. So that's 5 equals c. So we found everything. We found b is 3, a is 2, c is 5. So I'm now going to uh, write that into my general formula. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. All right, so I have um, y equals 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. Is that really the equation? Okay, now that is definitely the equation because I just drew the graph of it in Desmos. So for those of you who are not familiar with this calcul uh, this new graphing program, basically it's one I found recently that I'm going to use from now and I have just drawn this graph 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 uh, in this program and you can see that these are definitely the points that matches up with what I had in the table right because I basically just copy the points from the table when x is negative 2 y is 7 as stated over here when x is negative 1, y is 4, and when x is 1, y is 10. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial.